Hey everyone, it's me your social bee. My name is Jyoti and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we learn how to create a very cute photo manipulation of a cat portrait using Canva. Excited? Let's go. Okay, so let's start. First, let's search for our main image. You can use this keyword to find the photo. Cat portrait with wide open mouth. Go to photos tab. And here we have our photo. I'll choose this one. Just right click and set image as background. Now double click and let's enlarge this a little bit. Perfect. Now what we'll do is we'll edit this image. So uh, just go over here, edit image. And to see all the parameters, click here. And then we'll just change one parameter over here. We'll bring it to 100. Now, uh, just search for fading in the elements. I'll choose this one. Let's change its color to our photo color. Then place it at the bottom, cover the bottom part just like this. Then duplicate the same element, rotate it and cover the right portion of the image with this uh, element perfect now uh, we'll search for another element that is glow search for glow and we'll take this one place it over here and reduce the transparency to say 30 okay Now let's search for our another main prop that is dolphin. So we need a dolphin that is uh, in a jumping position. So I'm searching for uh, a photo. Um, so I think I'll take this one over here. Now just go to edit image and background remover. This is a pro feature. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you can either uh, go for a trial version or uh, just go to a website called as remove.bg um, and then you can remove the background of the photo for free. Now once the background is removed, let's uh, place this dolphin over here and I'll just uh, rotate this a little bit and reduce its size a little bit. Then go to shadows, choose the first option that is glow and we'll change the color to sea blue. Then let's change its parameters a little bit. You can do this as per your preference. I think that's okay. Let's apply this effect. Now uh, in the elements tab, search for water splash and just scroll down i think i'll take this one over here yeah just reduce its size a little bit place it on the dolphin and I'm just adjusting its position and then push it to back. Now take another water splash element. I've just duplicated the same element, reduced its size and then place it at the bottom part. And our photo manipulation is ready from this to this. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to work even harder. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.